and welcome back to another Toy Discoveries video. In this video, we are playing and learning with another wooden peg puzzle. And this puzzle has sea animals, which means today we are going to learn about sea animals. While I'm talking about each animal, I will show you in this video real photos and videos of every animal I talk about. So make sure you listen carefully and watch until the end of the video. Let's get started. Our first animal on the board is this one over here. This is a dolphin. Dolphins are very smart compared to other animals in the sea. They are carnivores, which means they eat meat, like fish and squid. There are different types of dolphins, but the most common is the bettle-nosed dolphin. Dolphins have one blowhole on top of their head to help them breathe when they jump out of the water. They are very social animals and that's why they like to live in groups. Usually 12 dolphins together. They hunt, play, and mate. Another cool fact is that dolphins belong to a group of animals called mammals. Mammals is a category of warm-blooded animals that have bodies who drink their mommy's milk to survive. Mammals also have hair or fur. Interestingly enough, we humans belong to that category. Humans are mammals as well. So I'll leave it down and move on to our second piece. This one over here. This right here is a Garibaldi fish. It's bright and orange color. They are very protective of their home down in the sea. When they are disturbed by other fish or fear them, they may make a loud thumping sound and can be heard by other fish and even divers that go in the water to study them. They feed on sea sponges and algae that grows on the rocks in the water. Isn't that cool? I think so. So that was the Garibaldi fish. We'll place it down and move on to a very popular animal of the sea, which is this one over here, and it's called a whale. A whale also belongs to the mammal category we talked about earlier. Just like us humans, whales have lungs and they breathe air, but they breathe through, a, through their blowholes on top of their head in this piece. See, that's... The whale splashing water out of its blowhole. Just like dolphins, whales differ with each other. There are different kinds. But today, I'm going to talk about a well-known whale, the orca. Here's a picture of an orca. It also has another name, but not as cute. It's called killer whale. They are carnivores, so they eat meat, all kinds of fish, small and large, that live outside waters like penguins and walruses. These whales have teeth while other whales don't. The orca whale is recognizable by its colors, black and white. They, like dolphins, live in groups. So they also hunt together for food. And listen to this, orcas are usually as long as a bus. You guys, that is gigantic. Have you ever seen a bus on the street? Well, that's how big an orca can be. So let's place our whale back on the puzzle board and move on to this very cute animal. Unlike a whale, this animal is very, very tiny. And it's called a seahorse. And despite its name, it's actually a fish and not a horse. They call it a horse because their head is shaped like a horse. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, seahorses are covered in tiny, tiny, spiny plates from their head to their tail. But their tail is extremely flexible and helps them grab onto things. They feed on small fish like shrimp or plankton. Seahorses vary in colors, as you saw in the pictures, but this one here is orange. So we'll set it down on the board and move on to our next animal. 
This over here is a sea turtle. There are many types of sea turtles, but I'm going to show you and talk about just one, the green sea turtle. It's one of the largest turtles. They like to spend their time underwater, but the maximum they can be underwater is five hours. Then they must come up for air. They propel in the water using their flippers and their tail. After a female turtle mates with a male turtle, the female turtle comes out of the water and digs a hole in the sand to lay her eggs. And then she leaves and goes back in the water. But listen to this, you guys. What's more interesting is that the baby turtles, once they hatch out of the egg, they run in the water to start their life all by themselves without their mom's guidance. Green sea turtles are hemivores, which means they eat greens like algae. Isn't that awesome that they're so independent from the very time they're, from the moment they're born? That's amazing. Our next animal is this one over here. This cute animal is a octopus. Octopuses are interesting looking creatures. They have eight arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two big eyes and a very large head. Octopuses use their arms to walk along the seafloor and grab things. They are very squishy since they don't have any bones. These qualities help them squeeze into and out of different spaces to protect themselves or chase after something they want to eat, like crabs or shrimp and lobsters. Did you know that octopuses have blue blood, unlike us humans who have red? Wow, we are very different than octopuses. So we'll set it down and move on to this animal. Do, 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 it's a shark. Although the song is very cute, sharks are not cute in real life. They are actually very dangerous and if you ever spot one in the water, you should get out and alert your parents. Sharks are large and they're dangerous. They're carnivore animals and they love to hunt and eat meaty food, all kinds of fish and animals. They have seven rows of sharp teeth for fast chewing as well. And did you know that once a shark loses his teeth, it grows one back immediately? That's amazing. That was our shark. Do, 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 back you go on the board. Our next animal is this one over here. And it's called a crab. There are so many, and when I say many, I mean more than you can count with your fingers, types of crabs. Crabs usually have 10 legs and two pinchers. They have a funny sideways walk, and they use their pinchers to break things or to communicate with other crabs. Isn't that cool? Kind of like sign language. They eat both plants and meat, which, make, which makes them an omnivore. They also live in groups like the dolphins and the whales we talked about earlier. So they like company as well. And that was a few facts for our crab. We'll put it back on the board and we'll move on to our next creature, which is this one over here. This is a clam. Listen to these awesome truths about clams. Unlike other animals in the sea, clams have no head, usually no eyes, and it has zero of our senses. Cannot smell, they cannot see, feel, or hear, or taste. But they have a mouth and a kidney and a bum. They feed on nutrients that come through the water in their mouth. So back you go, Mr. Clam, and we'll move on to our next animal, this one here, which is a squid. They are amazing food hunters, did you know? Well, they don't look like it, but they are. They have a tube-shaped like body, and they're kind of like this in real life, sideways. As you see in the pictures, they have a tube-shaped body. Squid have two tentacles that are longer than its arms and they keep them hidden and shoot them out to catch their prey. 
Squid can change color and swim backwards by pushing water out of their bag-like bodies. They eat shrimp. The larger squid can even eat small whales. Oh boy, they're vicious, aren't they? We'll put it back over here and move on to our last animal. This is a starfish. Most starfish have five arms, but did you know they can grow up to 50 of them? That's a lot of arms to have. They are covered in little suckers that help them stick to the ocean floors or on rocks. They eat clams and oysters and snails. They aren't very social, so they like to live alone. And we'll put our last piece back, and that completed our puzzle. I hope you love learning about sea animals and looking at the pictures and learning different facts about our sea animals. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Toy Discoveries for more fun educational videos. Until the next one, kids, bye!